Coming up on First at Four, forest fires continue to burn across eastern Kentucky. Smoke is filling the air and officials are asking everyone to follow burn bans. And a major announcement this afternoon from West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. Plus, we are tracking soggy weather as we end the work week. Those details coming up as Mountain News First at Four starts now. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, Governor Bashir has just declared a state of emergency due to the dozens of forest fires burning across the region. Letcher County is one place seeing several hot spots today. A local state of emergency was declared in that county yesterday. From the mountainside in Jackhorn to a residential area in the Kona community, flames have been fanning through the county as first responders work to contain the destruction. Officials say the community needs to be cautious of the fires and cognizant of the county's total burn ban. Now's the time we want to go out and burn because stuff like this happens. Eventually, it's going to be your house that you set on fire by doing something silly. So use the garbage pickup. Don't burn. Burning is not the thing to do. It just causes problems like this. Stephen says the first responders have been working tirelessly to keep people and their homes safe. Hear more about the fires and those fighting them coming up at 6. And even more eastern Kentucky counties were added to the list of total burn bans today. Here are the ones that we are aware of. And again, in these counties, all burning is prohibited. They include Breathitt, Clay, McGoffin, Knox, Morgan, Whitley, Johnson, Lawrence, Floyd, Pike, Knott, and Harlan counties. As the forest fires continue to spread throughout the region, crews continue to fight to control those active burns. The Kentucky Division of Forestry is working to track active fires and ask that if you see flames or smoke to call 911. Kesley Baker with the Division of Forestry says weather conditions have not been helping to stop the spread of these fires. So the crews have been working uh, diligently around the clock, working just about 16 hour shifts to uh, try to get a handle and get control of these wildfires. Unfortunately, the weather um, is not cooperating. It's very, very dry. Well, following this dry spell in the region, we are tracking some showers in the forecast, but will it be enough to put out all these fires? Let's check in with meteorologist Cameron Aaron now for the latest. Yes, yeah, Steve, that hazy sky does continue across most of the region this afternoon. Let's take a live look from Buffalo Mountain. You can see some low visibility as that smoke continues in this location. But some good news, we are tracking some increased rain chances across the region into tonight, also into your Friday. Up on the radar right now, most of us are dry, but we are tracking a few light showers in the Cumberland Valley, zooming into Wayne County, also into Pulaski and McCreary County as well. A few light showers, nothing too heavy, but more showers on the way as we go in to tonight. Also tracking maybe a few sprinkles in Harlan County, also into southwest Virginia as well. But again, most of us are dry and hazy at this hour. Temperatures in the 60s for most of us in the middle to even upper 60s and lower 70s in some areas, up to 72 for Middlesbrough, 73 in Harlan, and 63 over in Pikeville, also Prestonsburg at this hour. As we go into this evening, a stray shower is possible, but again, those higher rain chances are on the way. As we go into tonight, also into your Friday, and some soggy and chilly weather on the way on Friday. Those details coming up in just a few minutes. Steve? All right, Cameron, thank you. The Hazard Perry County Economic Development Alliance hosted its annual meeting with community leaders today, providing updates on some of the latest economic projects and developments that are in the pipeline. Executive Director Zach Lawrence touched on various issues and retail development at the Black Gold Plaza, East Perry area, and a new grant for additions to the industrial park. It'd be for a 200,000 square foot build ready pad, uh, which just expedites the company's timeline to uh, get off the ground here when they decide to choose uh, Perry County as home. So. Uh, it's really important for the for the marketing of our community and, and to keep us uh, in the forefront of, of company searches as they're out looking for for their next location. 
Lawrence says they are also working on a few recruitment projects that would bring new manufacturing companies to the community. WYMT's Olivia Calfee will have more tonight at 6. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin announced this afternoon that he will not run for re-election. In a statement, the 75-year-old senator says he will instead be traveling the country and speaking with Americans to see if there is an interest in, quote, creating a movement to mobilize the middle and bring Americans together. Manchin has been West Virginia's Democratic senator since 2010. For the last few years, he's been the only Democrat elected to statewide office in West Virginia, a longtime politician who has also served as governor, secretary of state, and state legislator. His wife, Gail Manchin, is the federal co-chair of the Appalachian Regional Commission. Five Republican candidates for president squared off last night in Miami in the third GOP campaign debate. They traded jabs that got personal at times, but the man to beat, former President Donald Trump, was not there. CBS's Robert Costa gives us a recap. You might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. The next generation of America. A tense showdown in Miami Wednesday as Republican presidential candidates pulled no punches. You have her supporters crapping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the scum. easy answer. All while trying to emerge as credible alternatives to former President Donald Trump. Anybody who's going to be spending the next year and a half of their life focusing on keeping themselves out of jail and courtrooms cannot lead this party or this country. As the former president rallied in Hialeah, Florida, with his mugshot on merchandise for sale. I'm standing in front of tens of thousands of people right now, and it's on television. That's a hell of a lot harder to do than a debate. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis made it a point to take on Trump and argued the party needs a jump start after disappointing results in Tuesday's elections. I'm sick of Republicans losing. Those losses leaving candidates grappling with a path forward on abortion. You got to do a better job on these referenda. I think of all the stuff that's happened to the pro-life cause, uh, they have been caught flat-footed on these referenda. I would certainly, as President of the United States, have a 15-week national limit. The candidates were edging for breakthroughs by addressing how the crises in Israel and Gaza are playing out at home. For everybody that's protesting on these college campuses in favor of Hamas, let me remind you something. Hamas said death to Israel and death to America. They hate and would kill you too. To every student who've come to our country on a visa to a college campus, your visa is a privilege, not a right. I would deport you from those campuses. And with former Ambassador Nikki Haley gaining support in the non-Trump wing of the party, she became a target. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first, or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? I'd first like to say they're five-inch heels, and I don't wear them unless you can run in them. Um... <laughs> Last night, several top Republican sources told me they believe this race could eventually become a real battle between Haley and DeSantis for the support of traditional Republicans and also believe others could have a breakthrough. The next debate will be in early December. Robert Costa, CBS News, Miami. Coming up on First at Four, we certainly have smoke in the air across the mountains today, but there's also a serious air problem in at least one country in Asia. Plus, we are tracking fire relief in the forecast. Those details coming up after this break.